good. I'm glad to see you're still here. I feel like I'm never going to leave. That was your undercover job. Rachel? Good work, Dixon. You just found a case worthy of our attention. How'd you know I was undercover? Considering the circumstances, you would have come right away. But you didn't, which can only mean you didn't get our messages until recently. If you were on vacation, you would have checked in with your office periodically. So you had to be working undercover. Deep undercover. Where frequent check-ins aren't always possible. Same old creature. I don't know about you, but all the sleuthings made me thirsty. Well, we'll celebrate. Make sure you get in. SUV. I know. You need the headroom. No. You two stay here. Both look like cops. What do you two look like? Lady in the tramp. They get that he's a different kind of guy, but our commanding officer buys used underwear. You're pregnant? What? No, shit no. No, she's engaged. But she didn't know? Someone finally lassoed our little filly. It's like I'm not the only one who couldn't sleep. Numbers relax me. Figured if I was gonna do math, I might as well make some walking around money. I don't know if you're gonna spend the rest of your life with somebody. Don't you want to feel something more than comfort? I mean, don't you want to feel excitement, a little jolt of something when you see him? Thanks for coming with. Late night walks always clear my head. And after the text I got from Neely about Franz, my head's been kind of cloudy, you know? Yeah. I'm well, surprised you can walk at all with all the casino's money in your pocket. <laughs> Anyways, you know, for a moment I thought I was going to get out of it with no mess and no guilt, but instead I got out of it a with a... A lot of mess and a whole lot of guilt. Thank you. Good for you. Carla Dixon doesn't settle. Thank you. First step's always the hardest. Yeah. Is that why? Back in the day, you and I never happened. Your steps were the hardest. Don't you ever get lonely. How much did you drink back at the hotel room? I left to ask you that question. I mean, come on, Richard. It's not like I didn't drop any hints. I was your boss. It wouldn't have been right. Wow. Well, I waited years for that answer, and it's pure Reacher. Direct, honest, and well-reasoned. I'm thirsty. Want to get a beer? What you doing? What my mom used to do when the alcohol stuff. Hmm. You know, you're probably just blowing germs into it. Probably. But it feels good. Major sure knew what he was doing when he put us together, didn't he? Guy's got good instincts. Guy's got good everything. <laughs> no more than two minutes to get where you can and meet at Dixon's car. And if I'm late, don't wait for me. Never thought I'd have the chance to find out. Please. Everyone saw that coming like, hey, let's calm it. I didn't. I honestly thought he wasn't interested. He keeps everybody at a distance except you. Thanks. Welcome. You see Reacher? Nope. But he said not to wait for him. Shit. We gotta go. No, I'm not leaving him here. I don't want to go either, but I don't defy an order from Jack Reacher. He said go. We go. You know, Reacher, perfectly normal to be lonely sometimes. You remember the last words someone who left said to you? Anyone living their life the way you do would. You don't have to be lonely tonight. And you're not my boss anymore. You'd get four or five dogs, no woman? Not even Dixon? She's a friend. <laughs> there they are. That's a hell of a dress. Okay. We've been attacked by bikers, shot at by hitmen, and almost blown up. I need to put it mildly. 
I've got some pent up tension. I know. Wash your mouth, Bosh, or catch your flies. I know you've got this rule. Sleep when you can, but. It's not that far of a rule. I need to speak to you alone, Reacher. It's about Operation Kite Runner. Respectfully, anything you can say to me about the case can be said in front of Dixon. She's been working this matter from the beginning. Knows it better than anybody. You've done so much for me. Me for all of us. You trained us. So... So when the time comes, I'll do it. I'll kill Swan. Everyone I trust with my life or anyone else's is already involved in this thing. Even Finley up in Boston. What about Roscoe? You trust her? Who's Roscoe? Got her address. <laughs> Seriously? She's a friend back in Margrave. Langston said if anything suspicious goes down, he'll kill Dixon and O'Donnell. There's no way to initiate a plan from the outside without putting them at risk. That's why I have to do this from the inside. Get a jump on him. Thanks, boss. Won't be your boss for long. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to save her while it lasts. Who knows when we're gonna see each other again. Why would anyone want to see these clowns? Wasn't talking about them. <sighs> You're just gonna walk in there? You have no idea what he's gonna do to you. It's not exactly true. Thank you. I thought you'd gone. I did. Got you a present. This is it. It's our last night together. Come home with me. I really want you to meet my parents. I'm fucking with you. Before this meeting's adjourned, this particular item needs one last going.